Everyone loves a shiny new bike, but unfortunately sometimes before you get your new one, you have to focus on selling your old one first. And it can be a bit stressful when you go through a sale of your bike, especially if you've grown quite attached to it. But in this video, we're gonna share with you some top tips on how to get the most cash for the sale of your old bike. You have your eyes set on that shiny new bike and so do any prospective buyers. You don't want to see any dirt or grime from the past months riding, nor do you want to see that horrid build up of sweat from your turbo sessions. You want to give your bike a proper clean and I'm talking cassette, like you're taking the cassette off, give that a real clean crank set outside and inside any little bits of dirt or dust that you might have overlooked on a quick clean that's all coming off. It's a big clean, folks. Even if you've ridden your bike for a couple of days in the dry and it doesn't look like it needs a clean, no, you're still giving it a clean because any prospective buyer is really gonna pay attention to your bike and examine it in detail. So you don't wanna put anyone off by them seeing any kind of bits of dirt that might be hidden here behind the brakes or that kind of, those few stains just by the bottom bracket. It's gonna need a deep clean. So basically the main aim of the game here is just to make your bike look as presentable as possible, as shiny as possible. And obviously one tip to do that is to use a bike polish on your frame after you've given it a clean, just to give it that last little bit of spick and spang so it really pops in the photos and shows your bike off in the best light. Because ultimately that's what you want. You want to show your bike in the best possible way to any prospective buyer. Okay, next folks, we're talking about pictures. And well, a blurry photo, which is focusing on your left shoe, isn't gonna do anyone any favors. You want to approach this picture as if you're submitting your bike to the bike fault, as if you're uploading it on the GCN app, okay? So that means all the rules. And for those of you who may not know the rules, I'm gonna run through them quickly, okay? So you want your valves at six o'clock, crank arm at three o'clock, Biggie Smalls, so chain on the big ring and littering at the back. I think that goes without saying, that's not up for debate. Also, you want a quite a clean background. So I've chosen this nice brick wall here. You don't want anything too busy, like a big landscape shot with your bike sort of in the distance, barely visible. You want people to focus on your bike. That's what you're selling after all. And also, you don't just want one photo, you want an array of photos. Focus on the best parts of your bike, the upgrades that you might have carried out, such as the Mavic wheel set, which would be going with this bike if I was selling it, but I'm, I'm not selling it, just to get that one clarified in advance. But also, you wanna be honest with any potential buyers. You wanna focus on damage as well, and be upfront about that. I think honesty is the best policy when it comes to selling your bike, and you don't wanna mislead anyone at all. Okay, and here are a few examples for you. Look how I've taken the handlebars a bit skew with in this one. I mean, it's a good photo, but it doesn't quite look correct, does it? But now, look at this one. Handlebars properly lined up. You can see the valves are in the correct position. Crank arm at three o'clock, biggie smalls. Everything is just looking perfect in this one. So use this as your kind of stock photo to go off and then get your other smaller photos of the bits of detail that you don't want to miss either. Okay, folks, next up now, bar tape. And how can I put this? Well, you wouldn't want to share your sweaty towel down at the gym with someone else, would you? Or you wouldn't want to share anyone else's sweaty towel, for that matter. And well, the same goes for bar tape. You wouldn't want to use someone's sweaty old bar tape that they've been using on their indoor trainer for the past year, would you? I mean, it's a bit grim, the thought of it. So, do your bike a favor and change your bar tape before you sell it. If you're selling your bike with any worn parts, that's not a problem. But just remember to highlight this in the advert. You don't want to mislead people. And if the parts are worn beyond belief, it's gonna affect the usability of the bike, then I definitely recommend replacing them if you can. 
Things such as lost cable ends or a new chain, replace the bearings, tighten the headset. You could do a new gear cable and brake cable refitting of the bike. All things that are gonna keep your bike in good working order. Okay, look, those eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that I've got quite a lot of stack on my steerer tube here with quite a few spacers above my stem. And I did talk earlier about the bike fault and uploading a photo which would be approved by the bike fault. But I've left these spacers on for a reason. And that's because I wanna highlight that when you're selling your bike onto a new owner, you don't want to kind of highlight the fact that your bike's in a super aggressive position or in a really strict, rigid position. You wanna show that the position can be changed because the prospective buyer isn't gonna be the exact same height as you. So I've left these spaces on just in case someone wants to change their position or raise their stem and their handlebars, for instance. I don't wanna chop all that off just for the sale of the bike because that's limiting the position that anyone else can use. And equally, don't advertise your bike with the saddle flying up in the air or your handlebars right drop down. Get it in quite a neutral position, I think. And that will show to people that the bike can be ridden in a few different positions and it's not stuck in the one position which may not fit them. So, just my advice. I know it wouldn't have made the bike fault, but it might help sell your bike a bit better. Be upfront about your bike's history. Be honest, people. And also, share any contacts you might have that regard the bike. It's a major selling point to any new owner of a bike if it comes with a warranty. And it's a definite bonus that will help you sell your bike. You could sell your bike with any spare parts that you might have accumulated with it. Things such as a different seat post, which would allow a different setback. You're not gonna need it on your new bike because most parts like this are designed for a specific bike. So if you don't need it, then you may as well sell it on with the bike that you're passing on to someone new. The same goes for any small parts that might go with the bike. For instance, if you have an older model TT bike that you're selling, those small parts, well, they can be really hard to source sometimes for anyone that's looking to tweak their position in the future, spacers or risers for your pads on the TT bars, they're really valuable. So make sure that you haven't thrown them away, keep them in a safe place. So if you're thinking about maybe selling your bike in the future, you'll have them with you so it can all be as one package. If you do have any cracks in the frame, don't give up hope, don't fear. There are many companies these days that can fix a carbon frame and recarb it just look with a quick search online and you'll find plenty of companies that will offer this service. But be upfront if you have fixed a frame in the past. You don't want to mislead people and you don't want to allow them to think that it's a perfectly blemish-free bike. Point out any sort of carbon fixes that have been done to the frame on your advert and be honest with people. Just remember, you don't have to sell your bike as a complete bike. If you have a really good set of wheels that you love and you don't want to get rid of, but you're looking to sell your frame and the components on it, don't forget that you can sell it separately, okay? You just sell it as a frame set with the components and you can keep your wheels for another time off your new bike. Also, if your wheels are so old that they're just going to drag the price of your bike down or they're just gonna maybe put some people off the sale, it could be worth just not including them in the sale in the first place and just selling your bike as is. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that's helped you in your secondhand bike sale. I think it's great to sell bikes and to keep the bike club going in the community, keep everyone on two wheels. Especially, you can get some great bargains out there on some top quality bikes that are a bit cheaper than if you'd have bought them straight away brand new. But let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite secondhand bike that you ever managed to buy or you might have even ever seen online? I'd be really interested to hear from you all in the comment section. Thanks a lot, everyone, and see you all soon. And look, Pinarello, look, I promise, I was just using you as a prop. I'm not really gonna sell you. I was just, just as an explainer to people. I know, yeah, I won't do it again, I'm sorry. I, 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 you, we're together now. Together, I won't get rid of you.